Hey guys, today we're going to look at the Weatherbug app for the Android operating system. We're going to be looking at this app on the Google Nexus 10, which has a beautiful 2560 by 1600 LCD panel. Very high density, uh, and it also has a very, uh, very bright screen on it. So it's really great, and uh, you guys should check out this tablet if you haven't already had the opportunity to. Again, we're going to be looking at Weatherbug. Uh, we've looked at the Eye in Sky weather app before, and so we're going to see how this stacks up. There's two widgets available with Weatherbug, and one is a little bit wider. One is just one square large. Uh, they both really offer fundamentally the same information. However, I personally prefer this slightly larger one just because it's spread out a little bit more. We've got the temperature, we've got an icon showing the current weather conditions outside, and we also have the low temperature for the day. At the top, we've also got our location available so we know where we're, where we're looking. Uh, if we fire up the Weatherbug app, uh, we're greeted with a main home screen here that has our current weather conditions, a five-day forecast, and um, you know our current temperature, wind direction, and all those important details. If we tap on any of these uh, future days, it takes us to the future forecast, and we're going to be looking at several days of advanced uh, weather information here. If we configure multiple locations, by the way, uh, we can swipe across those at the top here, but I don't currently have any additional locations configured. Uh, what we can do is go to the map here. This is one feature that's missing from the Eye in Sky application is a friendly weather map to just show you what the precipitation currently looks like. So as you can see, we have a, a standard weather map here. We can uh, you know, interact with it just like we would with Google Maps. And we have uh, standard indicators here showing uh, precipitation such as snow, rain, ice, and so on, and the varying severity levels of it. If we continue on, we can actually get weather camera footage of uh, the current weather conditions. So this is a really cool way to just kind of see what's going on in your area. Uh, this allows us to see the uh, various forecasts for lifestyles. So if you're a golfer, if you're an outdoor enthusiast, uh, if you're sensitive to pollen or other allergens, this will kind of give you a breakdown of uh, those types of conditions in the country. Continuing on, uh, we have some more detailed information here uh, showing a more detailed breakdown of wind, humidity, precipitation, temperature, uh, when the sun rises, what the air pressure looks like, and so on. Here we have a video overlay. Um, I'll leave this to you guys if you want to watch it, um, but you can watch like a little brief uh, weather report there. This is the area where a weather alert would occur if there was a tornado or a hurricane warning or any major snow or rainfall that would show up in this area. And then in the last section here is just kind of a little help section, uh, just pointing us to go to the preferences if we want to change certain settings. So down here on the menu, you can see we have a few different options. We have the ability to change a location. So we can add a location such as Portland, And then once you select a location, you can actually break it down even further and select a specific weather station. So if you recognize any of these uh, locations, you can simply select that location name, that weather station. You can choose if you want alert notifications from that location or not, and then simply hit save. And then you can go back. And then as you can see, we now have these, this arrow at the top that allows us to simply swipe over to our other location. So if we're on the uh, you know, current conditions screen, we can simply swipe back and forth between those two locations. And it's a little bit quirky on a tablet. I really don't think this was designed for tablet um, because you kind of have to drag all the way across, which is just a little bit awkward. So I think there's some room for improvement on this app overall. Uh, from just from a navigational perspective. But overall, they've made some pretty good strides with it. It certainly looks a lot better than it used to. Um, you know, they've made the weather map a lot more uh, user-friendly and beautiful looking and everything. So um, 
you know, overall, this is a pretty good app. It certainly provides more features than Eye in Sky, but it's not quite as attractive uh, aesthetically as Eye in Sky. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review uh, of this application, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.